Well, what, we've, what we've seen this morning from the Commission and Parliament is a passionate defence of high salaries, index-linked pensions, chauffeur-driven cars and a lifestyle that none of you would actually enjoy out there in the real competitive world. It's the status quo convincing itself that it's doing a good job, despite the fact the public increasingly doubt you. I would remind you that every time taxpayers' money is thrown at common European projects, the results are less than a success. The common fisheries policy and its environmental degradation, and now, of course, the euro, and not just an economic, but a social disaster that is engulfing the Mediterranean. And it's all based on a flawed thinking that the state, if it has power and money, can create wealth. The dead hand of bureaucracy is destroying innovation and destroying jobs in Europe. National democracy and free markets would be a much better model. Das war das jetzt. Ladies and gentlemen, please now listen to Mr. Verhofstadt, who will deliver a very interesting speech. Thank you very much for the publicity. Uh, <laughs> Mr. President, but uh, Mr. Farage has uh, the whole morning talked about salaries and, and biggest waste, uh, waste of money. Well, you know, colleagues, what I think is the biggest waste of money in the European Union of today, there's a salary we are paying to Mr. Farage. That is the biggest waste of money. Oh, no, Mr. Farage, let's be honest about it. You are... You are a member of the Fishery Committee, for example, and you're never there, never. In 2011, no attendance. In 2012, no attendance. It's fantastic what you're doing. You're coming here saying it's a scandal, the salaries that are be paid, and you pay yourself a salary without doing any labor in your own committee. That's the reality of the European Union today. You want the fish? Well, you can laugh. I hope that maybe this can be sent out to the BBC this evening once and on all the other private uh, uh, television uh, in, in, in Britain, how you, in fact, cheating your own citizens here all the time, already three years in a row. And I think it has to finish because we know that Mr. Alain Amazur has rights. This union, if it wants to become a real federal union, needs own resources, needs, in fact, his own income. And that is the big battle to do now. And we shall do it together, and if it's necessary, without you, Mr. Farage.